Vermilion and Scarlet. I apologize. Yeah. And uh, game one on FD. And um, I don't know about this one because a lot of Sheik's pick FD, especially as a counter pick, because um, when she has the lead on like a really big one at that, you, she can just needle every landing that a lot of characters can do. And I don't think these two play each other very often, actually. Really? Yeah. Formella used to be a Sova person, now he's more of a Richmond, still Southern-ish, but... Not, not as far south. Yeah. Yeah. And um, as a result, Scarlet is Fredericksburg. He's ranked... If there's a Fredericksburg PR, he'd be in the top five. Okay, so and strong player. Viceroy, number one. Asriel, Scarlet scans, and I think there's one other player from F-Bird that I'm forgetting. Hmm. It's not Contro, even though he did well at the Arcadia. Huh. All right, but Scarlet looked... Scarlet looking pretty well right now, actually. Uh, 83%, and um, yeah, like I said, just using the needles and the flash stage of FP to set up for a lot of just free damage that uh, Corrin doesn't have the airspeed for, and that DI was suboptimal all the way through, Ooh. cleaning up that stock. Yeah, I don't know if going to FD was the best option. I feel like Sheik is really good on FD, and uh, from out, I'm not going to lie, is just going to be playing catch-up the whole time. Yeah. Like, ooh, really close to the ground. I mean, Korn's, well, that was smart, but Korn's one of the better characters in the game at playing catch-up because, like, all those tips just do so much knockback. But um, you got to be able to get your field on the ground first. And also, Archie's doing – or not Archie, excuse me. Scarlet. <laughs> Scarlet. Scarlet. My bad. I apologize so much, Scarlet. But Scarlet's doing a really smart thing by – um like calling a Black Yoshi. <laughs> Stop. But Scarlet's doing a really smart thing by forward airing those um, dragon shots. Something that you don't see a lot of players doing enough. They just kind of get scared and start to air dodge, and they get caught out of the way. But – yeah, showing some good match for him right there or yeah. right now. Starts and, uh, playing well. Sheik is at death percent to an up throw. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Not yet. No, no, no. Up throw will definitely kill. I will bet you a dollar. I mean now because he just got hit by that um, like extra ten percent. But I want twenty. I'll, I don't think it would have. I think it would have. Fair enough. We'll never know. <laughs> we could. We could. You check it right now, buddy. Go the selection. Maybe later. All Maybe right. later. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, Scarlet holding this lead fairly well. He could just sit back and needle. And there we go. Give him that damage. Yeah. Ooh! He's dead. Yeah, that should definitely be a Good stop. Nice. If he lived that, I would have paid you on the spot, by the way. <laughs> All right. But that stock's going to be taken clean. That DI, um, his DI on the four throws um, hasn't really been, like, amazing. But that angle on the recovery, though, was clean. That was just what he needed to survive. Who's the one who beats Scarlet in the winners? I can't remember. Uh, I wasn't here for that one. Yeah, but Scarlet playing really really well right now. Catching the landings not only with needles, but just running up power shielding. And that's kind of hard to time on uh, Korn's Nair, especially, because the hitbox on that is kind of deceptive. And here comes the Bouncing Fish. He's swinging for these right now. And stopping for a four. Nice mix-up. Yeah, he didn't get the cross-up on that um, up air. Oh. Can we land? We can land. Can we get on stage? Yes. Back throw. I yeah, Permelia was DIing for the back row last time, which is why I got hit by that up air. Um, if you were DIing in on the back row before, you will actually get true combo at Bouncing Fish at some percent. So, a uh, good awareness by Permelia just to avoid that situation most of the time. Nice. And actually, we're getting to the danger of right now. Corn with full rage. We've seen. Oh my god! That was. Unfortunate. Yeah. If you're Scarlet. Very good if you're from <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, man. I didn't even expect a kill coming right now because, like, he yeah, was just man, so you safe. Yeah, man, just hit me with a pin at 90. Good job, man. Well, I mean, also, like, Sheik is invincible for a lot of her recovery, so I'm not sure if, like, that hit during the vulnerability of the Vanish or was that just, like, a clean two frame? This is what's going through Scarlet's head. I can't believe it's not hit my head. That's so dumb. Is that, right. what, is that how he speaks? No. Oh. That's how I just interpret Inner Scarlet speaks? Inner Scarlet. I can't believe I got hit by that. <laughs> <laughs> That was horse manure. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, Pramelia is switching to Palutena. This matchup is awful um, yeah. for Sheik. It, it's pretty, I mean, not for Sheik, for, for Palutena. Whoa. Can you imagine if this was bad for Sheik? That'd be a weird counterfeit. Yeah. Uh, she kind of just gets, like, outframed completely. Yep. And there's not a whole lot that... Um, Permeo can really do about that unless he like gets a grab, gets that little situation right now, and now he has time to set up and use those invincible hitboxes on the dash attack in the back air to um, stuff out that uh, frame data that Sheik has. And you know that Sheik's going to be throwing out. That angle is cute, by the way. And there we go. Like I was just saying, 
Setting up for more situations, more and more damage. Formali was trying to bait out a down air. As the best Palutena in the region, I can tell when he's Stop. going for things. <laughs> Stop. Stop. I can't help what I am, man. <laughs> See what they'll lay, gentlemen. Don't worry, I'm not the best corn or sheep. <laughs> All right. Uh, Good Formalia. auto reticle. Yeah, Formelio is looking pretty solid right now. Um, he's, like he's not winning per se, but he's still keeping in, uh, keeping up in terms of the neutral and just like the pacing of the match. Like, he's not really being thrown on his back foot this year. I want to see Needles the Bouncing Fish. That's what I want to see right now. Not not, not, not run back, that roll back. I don't want to see run, roll back um, for the 80th time. I want to see Needles Bouncing Fish, because that's what will do it. Um, well, yeah, especially the way that Premier is playing. He's sacrificing a lot of stage control just because, like, he can't really contest well. Down, down throw backer stage. from Palutena will kill now, by the way, at the edge of the stage. Will it be true? Yeah. Wow. It will. But down through up air will not work. Nice. Like I said, using the back air to stuff out those hip hops. And wow, that hit Ooh. from deep. That hit from deep. Okay. Permelia showing the match experience with the air to bounce fish. That's hey. the only match experience for that. That's true on so many characters at that percent. That's the November 2014. Yeah. I mean, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay. Yeah, Permelia is looking nice right now. Um, Scarlet needs to play a lot safer. And by that, I mean Chuck Needles and Cam. I mean, you'll say that about anyone, though. Yeah, <laughs> I would say that about Sheik on FD. Yeah, I mean, it looks like right now he's just kind of um, trying to force a lot of things, and that's why Pamela is getting a lot of those big hits. But here we go, that fair to bounce fish. Yeah, that's true. Uh-oh. Damage. Things. No! Woo! Formelia's playing really patient right now. Even though he's getting hit, he's, I don't, um, he's I don't. actually just like capitalizing on the things that he needs to. Just showing that like a lot of match experience. That warp getting him out of dodge. That uh, bounce fish definitely would have killed from that deep. Yeah, but these, the, the that might no. But but the get on stage upy from Pal from from Alley, just I don't understand. That's it. Yeah, yep. I, I don't understand why he's doing that. There's it, there's no. I mean, I guess you get to the center of the stage, but you're you're in last. There's no auto cancel for doing that. I mean, but did he live though? No, he, he died. I mean, from something else. He got caught. That led up to it. That's Gorn. There okay. we go. All right. I don't oh. think the Premier was like, or I don't think the uh, Palutena was like a particularly bad choice. Like he Where was keeping, going? he was keeping up Duck a lot hunt? of time. I love Duck Hunt as long as it's not Swan Lesson. <laughs> I don't like Swan Lesson. I will let you know that, buddy. Yeah, that's. There are better songs to the stage. There we go. But yeah, um, Prime is switching off the Palutena, and here we go. With the Corrin, game three. So actually, um, I'm not. I feel like there might have been a better stage here because Duck Hunt like isn't particularly bad for uh, Corrin. But, you know. Yeah. He's their own. He wasn't really camping to begin with. So, like, Duck Hunt, a stage that gives you a platform configuration to camping. Like, you get, either you're going to utilize it or you're just going to kind of get hit because Corrin's disjoint will just kind of stuff out a lot of those situations, you know? I don't know. It's just questionable to me. I don't know if Corrin's necessarily uh, good on this stage, but like, I, mean, I, I, I don't, like, not as in I think he's bad. I just, I don't actually know. That was good. Yeah, but maybe yeah. looking, making her look good, though. Nice and air. Punishing that, punishing that neutral get up. Punishing that approach. Yeah. Good roll. Right now, Pamela's like, all right, I got this. I'm like, I have a really big lead. I don't have to do anything too wild. You got to come to me now. Thing is, Sheik's really good at like getting at people. And now, um, now Pamela actually lost a lot of safety right there. That back air, I'm not going to do it just yet. Yeah. Oh! That up air should though. Yeah, great read by um, Pamela right there. Scarlet on his tournament stop. Not looking good for, for F-Berg. He is the last F-Berg entrant. It's long. Yeah, it's a long drive back for seventh place. Yeah, it's like two hours. Yikes. Sorry, I think it's like two. Yeah, maybe. A little longer. Uh, looking to extend the sweep, Amalia. Oh, can. 
Yeah, Familio's pins are looking way better in this game three. I think he just got a beat on Scarlet's movement, and he's just like, all right, you're not gonna get it on for, me for free anymore. Like, you're, you're not gonna land on me anymore. You're gonna get pinned. That's what's gonna happen. Nice read, though. Just walking up on him, that up smash will do it. Yep, very good, very good. Scarlet looking kind of clutch right now. Let's see what he can get going from this. And here comes Sheik. Okay. Nice right. damage, 41%. All right, good low percent string. Can we continue it, though? Nah, it looks like he's just ready to reset the neutral and just see what he can get now. That duck actually might have saved him. Because he definitely wasn't air dodging. 48 to 73. Grab that. Yeah, that's grab. Thank you. All right, getting a little even. Oh! This is setting up for an edge guard situation. Oh, but Primalia, that was so smart. Going past the ledge saying you are not expecting this by any means. <gasps> yeah. <gasps> Scar's doing a great job not air dodging, but he just needs to get his feet back on the ground. That could have been a pin, but... Oh, All right, 82, 95. Air dodging, teching, great tech by Pamelia. Oh! This is getting close. He still should be able to live this, though. We have a last hit situation in game three. Virginia boys about to take each other out, but who's going to be the one I'll to beat. pull the trigger? Oh, my lord. I think he, he's dead. I don't think so. Not oh. yet. Yep, not yet. He landed. But he reads that air dodge, and that'll be it. So Pamelia taking it, clutching it out game three. So I think... I think he landed on the tree trying to up B. No, he was already up airing. Was that what he was doing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought he just air dodged into the tree. Nope, indeed. 